And I am a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. In this review or in this video, we will be reviewing a question that I was asked recently, which is can you display a GIF image within a ShareWell dashboard or within a ShareWell portal? And we'll be looking into that in this video. So the first thing that you may try to do when trying to load a GIF within a ShareWell dashboard would be to edit the dashboard. If I bring up our dashboard editor here, uh, right now I'm looking at our portal not logged in screen. So we can see up at the top left. Uh, if I wanted to add an image to this portal, I would add an image control to the dashboard. And to select the image for this uh, dashboard or for this image control, I would bring up the image manager by selecting this uh, camera icon and selecting browse. And from there, we would select an image definition within ShareWell. Now, at this point, we need to select the image that we're going to import into ShareWell. If this is an image that you have stored locally, then you would import it as a file, which I've done here. So I have a giphy.gif file that I've uh, imported as a uh, ShareWell image definition. But if you didn't have a GIF that you wanted to import into ShareWell as a file and it was on a web page, for example, I have a web page up on the screen here with a couple of different uh, GIFs, then you would take the URL that you were trying to import and you would then try to create a linked image instead. But when you click OK, you're going to get an error message. Sure, it's going to tell you that URI formats aren't supported. So, technically, to show a GIF on a dashboard, you're going to have to import it into ShareWell as an image definition. When you do that and you load the dashboard, it's not actually going to display every frame of that GIF, so it's not really going to be feasible to show it within the dashboard. However, the workaround to this is going to be to embed the GIF within a HTML page and display that HTML page instead of the dashboard. We can go into how to do that next. Now I've opened up the HTML page manager and I'm going to create a new folder and here I'm going to create a new internal HTML page. I'm going to call it GIF test. After I do this, I'm going to be uh, displayed the HTML editor. And in this editor, I'm simply going to open the Edit CSS dialog. And we're going to be inputting just a small amount of CSS here. So the CSS or the cascading style sheets we're going to enter are going to be for the body element of our HTML page, which we can see here. And for that body element, we're just going to specify that it's going to have a background image from a URL. And this is assuming that you have a URL that's outside of ShareWell. If so, then you would just paste in the URL of that GIF. And you'll actually see it appear within your HTML editor dialog in ShareWell. Now, as you can tell, this is actually uh, repeating quite a bit. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add in a tag for background repeat and tell it not to repeat. By the way, uh, anytime you have uh, CSS, you want to end each line with a semicolon, which I failed to do. And you'll notice actually when I closed my CSS dialog, nothing happened. 
It is important that you separate uh, the word no and repeat in your CSS there with a hyphen. And then you'll just have a single instance of that GIF and it won't repeat throughout the rest of the page. So now we've got an HTML page definition for our GIF. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit this dashboard. I'm going to get rid of this uh, image control here. And instead, I'm going to add a browser widget. I'm going to point that browser widget to the HTML page definition that I have. Now I'll drag this browser widget onto the screen. I'm going to make it large enough so that we can see it clearly. And we can see now that this GIF actually renders on the dashboard. Now, the reason I added this to the portal not logged in dashboard uh, is so that we can actually demonstrate something uh, relevant to the portal in addition to this. And I'll get to that here in a second. So the next question is going to be, how do we display a GIF in the portal since we've just gone over how we can display it in the ShareWell rich client? The process for doing this for the portal is going to be slightly different. So I'm going to bring up a instance of my uh, Sherwell portal here. Oops. I'm actually going to the wrong address. So I'm going to bring up my Sherwell portal. And on the portal, you're going to see this browser widget load, and nothing occurs inside this browser widget. And we'll go over that for just a moment. Uh, it's important to realize why this happened because it is uh, an important thing to understand. Anytime you have an HTML widget within a Sherwell browser client or browser portal, uh, the CSS for that widget is not going to be displayed. So, ah, I need to go down a bit. So our uh, CSS there for a background image is actually uh, prefixed by a hash and then a style declaration and it actually does not load in the browser portal. So here we get the equivalent of a blank HTML page because without the CSS it is just a blank HTML page. So now the question is how do we display a GIF in the portal? And that is actually a slightly different process. The end result is going to be the same, but we're going to open up our administrator tool. We'll go to our browser and mobile section. And we'll open up our site manager. And in the site, we're basically just going to display the entire HTML page. So if you needed to show a GIF within an, uh, a page on your portal, it would be, or the best way to do so would be to just design a HTML page definition that contained that GIF and the other content that you had. Once you've done that, we can go to our portal and we can go to a uh, HTML page that contains this background. So if I go into my portal site definition, I'm going to add in a page action for the page that was created. And then I'm actually going to uh, restart my browser so that the, so that that will update. Now that I've reloaded my portal, I can see my HTML page for this uh, GIF on the screen. Uh, the GIF does load, however, it is not exactly, uh, there is a slight problem with the height for this GIF. So what I'm going to do is, to make sure that this loads correctly in the portal, I'm going to double check what the size of this uh, image should be. And I'm going to give it a custom height of, right now I'm giving it a height of 200 pixels, just so that we have enough space for this uh, image right here. And then to modify that in our HTML page, because I just edited it in real time, what I'm going to do is 
going to open up my HTML page manager again. And in my body, or in my CSS dialog, I'm going to give the body a custom height value. Click OK to update this. I'll go back to my home screen. And it looks like our uh, HTML page hasn't actually updated. So what we'll do next is we'll go back into our HTML page. And instead of, oh, I missed a semicolon. Instead of updating this under the body attribute, what we'll do next is we will update it under a P attribute because we do have a single paragraph on this page. Click OK, go back into the portal. And it looks that like that isn't actually being recognized either. Uh, the reason for that is our body tag actually doesn't end up getting uh, included with the rest of this HTML. It actually gets turned into a div tag instead. So what I'm going to do is open up this HTML widget, or this HTML page, and inside our body, we're going to include a div, we're going to give it a name, and then you could either close off this div here if you want it to only show up right there, or you could uh, encapsulate some other content inside of it, but we're going to actually be giving this div a background for that image. By the way, div may not be the best tag for your needs. Uh, since it is a block level HTML element, it will take up a line on its own. So if you have other content that you want to position around this GIF, uh, you may want to use a, another type of tag. Uh, but for this video, we're just going to be using a div right there. So here, I'm going to replace this P tag with a hash sign and then GIF. So this is going to identify that div by the uh, ID that we just gave it. We're going to give it a height of 200 pixels. And then here, I'm actually going to take these items from the body, because we we're probably not giving the entire body of your uh, HTML page if it's in the portal background image. I'm going to copy those over to this div or this GIF tag. So now our end result actually looks the same since our content is still roughly just that one GIF image. But now if I go back to the portal, and I go home and bring up the screen, I can actually see the entire GIF image that I had loaded. Uh, that is how you can display a GIF image within Surewell's Rich Client uh, in the dashboards by adding an HTML widget to the Rich Client or in the portal. Uh, the portal side of this is a bit more complex because not only do you have to create an HTML page uh, with your GIF, but you have to have that HTML page be used in place of the entire dashboard instead of uh, within a dashboard because within the browser client, it's not going to honor that CSS that you used to bring in that image. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on Twitter, or you can subscribe to us on YouTube uh, at our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash beyond20llc. You can leave any comments in the comments section below. Thank you, and have a nice day.